Good morning, a wet start across a lot of the state this morning. Here's a look at the radar here and you can see those showers are lifting to the north and east starting to clear out back to the west. But for the metro area, uh, starting to get more rain in after we saw all that rain last night. Uh, over in Albuquerque, we have those showers down to the south, moving up to the north near Rio Rancho and also some light to moderate rain over in Moriarty and heavier showers back to the east. Las Vegas dry for now, but starting to get wet in Santa Fe. Uh, seeing some showers lift to the north of you up nor near Espanol. And of course, the Hemis Mountains getting wet right now out to the east over near Fort Sumner. A uh, heavier rain there moving on to the east in Tucumcari, just getting drenched. If you're traveling along I 40, uh, you're going to be uh, looking at a wet go of it this morning as those showers continue to lift to the north and east. And of course, down to the south, more showers down toward Roswell and over in the Sacramento Mountains as well. Here's your Blitz Planner forecast scattered showers as we head through the rest of the morning. That will dry out. Isolated activity for the, your lunch hour, then breezy conditions today. Temperature in the low 70s. Those winds picking up with a few peaks of sunshine. Of course, right now, Bloom Fiesta Park, 52 degrees. The winds not too bad at all, but those winds will be picking up. We'll take a look at the forecast for Bloom Fiesta coming up. Hey, I look forward to that. Thank you very much, Kristen. Well, green chili galore. Here now is your Wednesday morning news blitz. Farmers say there has been a late season surge of New Mexico's most famous crop. Farmers in Valencia, Socorro, and Doniana County say they will be harvesting green chili for the next two or three weeks, and there'll be plenty of it through the fall. We now know that the armed suspect killed by an Albuquerque police sniper in late August was high on meth. 31 year old Michael Marquez, who was wanted for several armed robberies, was fatally shot during a SWAT standoff when police say it appeared that he had a gun in a bag. One man is dead and 15 others are injured after a bad dust storm causes a series of crashes on a major Arizona interstate. At least 30 vehicles smashed into each other when blowing dust cut visibility close to zero. Following the lead from competitors, Citibank is now upping the fees on its customers. Starting in December, the minimum balance for mid-level accounts will go up from six to $15,000, and anyone who doesn't maintain that will have to pay 20 bucks a month. And Rio de Janeiro's iconic Christ the Redeemer statue was lit up in pink yesterday to mark the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Over the next few weeks, dozens of landmarks around the world will display pink lights. That does it for your morning headlines.